all this has came at a weird time for the gym like the the inflection point of the meta aspects of TBI taking two of our athletes to fight the best of the best in the US um, excited for them they're they're always game they train so hard they, they listen to me really well and uh, we're all looking forward to the challenge like it's it's very very a very cool experience um, it's so grateful and thankful that we can be a part of it it's gonna be tough we got two solid weeks um, my arm busted it, it, it's hurt I can barely move it um, but it, it, this isn't anything new I've been able to train people with just one arm for a really long time we'll see how it goes I you know it's, it's gonna be me coach Jeannie Aaron and then uh, we're taking Jade Jade is, is awesome a great team player and knows how to knows how to work knows how to spar knows how to clinch really well uh, and knows how to hold pads so she'll be <laughs> my assistant so <laughs> it's gonna be fun um, I, I haven't spent this much time away in like what two years now uh, last time I, I was I was gone for this long I was in uh, Thailand it's gonna be odd I, we're all gonna be living together for two weeks so we'll see how it goes uh, yet again grateful appreciative hopeful and you just got to keep it going got to keep that momentum going and we'll see how it goes <laughs> this is our Whole Foods haul. We've got chicken sausages, chicken thighs, peppers, cholula. <laughs> Where's the tahin? Oh yeah, the world's most tahin. expensive tahin. How much was that? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Day one, morning, and it's freezing. Does it say how cold it is? It's, it's, like, it says it's like 34, oh. Oh, but everything God. hurts to touch, uh -huh. like everything. <laughs> um, where are we going? Planet Fitness. Yes. Let's <laughs> we'll see if we can work out there. <laughs> Off to our first real training session. Uh, we'll see how the elbow holds up. We'll see. We'll see what the elevation's like. I don't know how you guys felt in the morning. I felt it. James tired. It. <laughs> I felt it. It was like lightheadedness. It wasn't terrible though. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't that bad. Oh, you're okay. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, first day in the books I, I think it was pretty successful some modifications with the holding but I thought it went really well um, usually when I'm injured this presents an opportunity to try different training methods I think this will be good start to my camp yeah training was good um, elevation was like okay just a little lightheaded, but beyond that, it was it was fine. Yeah, it didn't feel as bad as I think we all expected it to be. We thought it was gonna be horrible, yeah. right? We were we ready were, to die yeah. on this hill. <laughs> Everyone was like talking shit. <laughs> we were like, no, no, the mountain will get us. But it wasn't too bad. Just like a little funky head pressure. Um, got a little lightheaded when we like ramp up too quickly. But it was good. It was good. And we figured out our gym situation. Post gym has been nice to us. Um, so now time to eat and then do it again tomorrow. Fortunately, we're 
feeling a little more settled in, which is great. Uh, there's a lot less pressure to try to organize things at the last minute, so I think it was the right decision and choice to come here two weeks early, just so that we don't feel stressed out or anxious because of uh, just the, the, the lack of organization. And we got, I feel that. We, I feel like we all got all that out of the way. Uh, finally, morning off. It's been a grind. We, we've been having to get up at like six in the morning to work out. And um, we're just sort of being able to taper down today. So this is our, our first time trying to explore the city. We haven't really been doing much, just training and sleeping. So I'm kind of excited with, to see what the, um, the food scene is like here. We just got one training this evening. So we'll see what this place looks like. See what the food is like out here. We've just been eating uh, food that we cook at home. If, you, if you've seen all the clips of us at the supermarket, it's either waking up early uh, to train, resting, uh, going to train again, and then supermarket, eating, sleeping, and then just repeating that for the last couple of days. So it's it's nice to be out and exploring the city. So we'll see. We'll see what, what the food is like, what the people are like, uh, what the vibe is like. First time eating out and not eating our own eggs at home. We got to eat eggs that someone else made. <laughs> but it was nice, yeah, it was, it was nice to be out and doing something other than training and sleeping. So. <laughs> How was your food, Jane? It was good. I had an omelet and I ate all of it. That's all. Food was good. The pancakes were awesome. Uh, I thought the sweet potato pancake was delicious. Uh, and then I got a breakfast sandwich, which is also delicious. So if you guys are ever in Denver, I'd recommend checking this place out. Snooze. <laughs> Week one in the books. Um, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. We finally saw snow. Um, it was a trip because I thought snow would make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> so when I opened the door, I was just like shocked and disbelief that everything was covered in snow. Um, being from California, we never see snow. So it was a trip. Uh, we were really excited about it. Uh, we also saw a line of geese crossing the road, and I thought that was really funny as well. Um, so nature be wilding out here. Uh, as far as training, uh, man, it's been it's been pretty hard, pretty arduous. But at least Friday, we got a taper down. Uh, yesterday, the gals got some kickboxing training in, and it was really fun to to see a different style. Uh, the trip is fun so far. Jade's been of great assistance, mm -hmm. oh, yes. holding pads, uh, sparring, clinching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. She's been, here to help. She's been training so mm -hmm. hard. I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think she's going to get a lot out of this and, and come back 10 times better. Yeah. Okay. Right? Sorry to cut you off. No. That's what I do. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what you said. Uh, yeah, training has been tough. Uh, first, like, two days, uh, there's only a little acclimation. It was just kind of getting lightheaded at the end of training. Um, but, yeah, finally, we finally feel, like, settled and feel accustomed to the elevation. Um, and then thank you to Eric over at Pound for Pound for some uh, sessions with me. It was great to have uh another person hold pads especially with Vic's arm uh being at the state that it's in so it's nice to have someone that i could 
have whole pads for me. Uh, it's been good. I'm, I'm glad we came out as early as we did. Um, like Aaron said, there was definitely a period where we were adjusting to the altitude. It felt a little bit like we had all sucked helium balloons and we're trying to train. <laughs> um, but it, we kind of settled in now. It was nice to kind of find our rhythm as a team too and get our schedule down and get everything sorted. It has been interesting to finish a camp without like our whole team. Um, definitely miss the whole team back home and our gym. But again, like everyone's been really welcoming and supportive. So it feels like we still have like a support system out here. Um, and it's also cool to see how many fighters from all over that we've met at different times start to come out. And it feels like this big, you know, Muay Thai summer camp that's happening, except it's not summer camp. It's cold as hell. <laughs> uh, but it's cool to see everyone kind of come out and train together and work together and kind of all work towards this one thing, even though we're fighting some of these people. Um, it just feels cool. Like this is one big momentous thing that's happening that we all get to be a part of. Um, so just really appreciating the moment and thankful to be here with all of us and all the quality bonding time that we get to spend mm -hmm. together on our adventure. Our <laughs> adventure. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Coach Jeannie made a, a really important note of having to settle into the logistics of being together here. Um, you know, we're, we're very fond of spreadsheets and schedules. <laughs> Uh, so it was good to kind of lay out the framework for the structure of the days. And that also helped ease a lot of the, um, como se dice, the anxiety that's, that, that comes from not being somewhere comfortable, you know, from like the routine of our, of our gym, of our team and, and our lifestyles. So we're out here just kind of, you know, taking it day by day. Um, but yeah, that's all. We'll, we'll see what the next week entails. For now, we just got to go do some laundry um, and then <laughs> rest because uh, next week's the big week. Um, so thank you guys for all your support. Really appreciate you guys uh, checking in with us. Just want to say thank you to Coach May and Megan from Tankhead Boxing for having us. Uh, for Justin and Eric at Pound for Pound uh, Kickboxing. Uh, they, they were so helpful. Everyone's been so sweet, so accommodating. And um, we're, we're really appreciative and, and grateful for all of that. Uh, thank you to everyone that's sponsored. Uh, this is helping us out immensely with the food bill, with the accommodations, with everything. Um, Golden Era Muay Thai Apparel, thank you guys so much for your support. Kawada Dental in West LA, thank you guys so much for your support. And Touch Brilliance Massage Therapy. Thank you guys for all your support. All the sponsors, everyone that's donated anonymously, really appreciate it. If you guys wanna be a part of this, you can click on the link below. Uh, we have a bunch of information in regards to like sponsorship kit and what you get out of sponsoring uh, the TBI competition team. Or if you just wanna donate, you can click the link below as well. Uh, any amount helps. Thank you guys so much, really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.